vinyl friends and vinyl community it's brian from brian's vinyl records it is monday which means it's time for another installment of vinyl editions so this week just a short small stack of stuff but some cool stuff nonetheless spent most of this week uh, doing other things didn't really get out to a vinyl uh, record shop this week so didn't get a whole lot of digging done and just other things consumed my week so i got a few things that came in the mail let's take a look at what i got we'll start with this here this is michael jackson's off the wall this is a reissue that came out i think in 2016 uh, i can't uh, remember but it's a, a newer edition um, of the album i do have an original or an early pressing of the album as well but this popped up for i think it was 13 dollars, and i figured i'd just get it because mine is getting a little beat up and uh i love this album and so yeah it would be cool to have the reissue it sounds great listen to it enjoyed the heck out of it so yeah michael jackson's off the wall next up oh man this was cool this came up um did some warehouse digging on amazon warehouse uh, you know, you'll see why this was in the warehouse, but this was still sealed um, And so I took a chance on it and I'm glad I did listen to it last night It sounds absolutely great, but this is the soundtrack to boogie nights Of course you can see all that creasing every corner on this one was it was bent up and creased uh, But the albums in perfect condition and it sounds great. So, you know, what? I'm happy to have this in my collection Of course this has uh, great stuff on here including the track that um, Marky Mark and John C. O'Reilly do uh, they trying to write a song uh, so that's on here included and of course at the very end you got the touch which is uh, my favorite one of my favorite parts of the movie you got Marky Mark singing you got the touch which comes from the Transformers movies in the 80 80s and uh, of course he sings it way out of key which is I think the best part of the whole thing so um, really enjoyed listening to this last night it's got some great stuff on here you got jungle fever on here you've got brand new key on here you've got uh, spill the wine um just all sorts of just really great songs ain't no stopping us now of course sister christians on here it's got to be um so yeah this is just a really fun fun soundtrack to a pretty uh fun movie uh if you're into that kind of thing the late 70s porn industry look behind the scenes of that uh, but um, really good movie and a great soundtrack so happy to have that in my collection uh, next up i took a chance on this this thing dropped to six dollars brand new and i just thought why the heck not this is i don't even know if i can say his name right um, art elect Sakasis? I don't know. He is the lead singer for the band Everclear, and this is his recent solo album, Sun Songs. And I have not listened to this one yet, but I, like I said, it dropped down to six dollars. And for a brand new album uh, from a singer from a band I actually enjoy quite a bit, Neverclear, I thought why not give it a try? So I'm looking forward to spinning this one and seeing if it's any good. Um, but yeah, for six dollars, can't go wrong. Art. Art Alexakis, maybe? I don't know. Anyway, looking forward to that. Last but certainly not least this week, um, I picked this up on recommendation from a friend in the vinyl community and uh, it dropped down to I think $13 and so I figured I'd give it a shot. As you know, I'm kind of on a Stevie Ray Vaughan kick lately with um, him being one of my dad's favorites and so why not pick up albert king and stevie ray vaughn this is kind of like a I, i'm told a jam session between the two um it's got a bunch of stuff from both artists that they kind of just jam through pride and joy is on here uh, stormy mondays on here um just all sorts of stuff so there's i think uh seven tracks on here but they're all jams so some of them go long some of them are really short there's a 15 minute track on here blues at sunrise so really looking forward to just giving this a listen to uh, kind of a fun little piece in stevie ray vaughn uh, history so yeah um heard it's really good looking forward to hearing more uh yeah but that's all i got this week uh, for vinyl editions you know like i said i went on, went on amazon warehouse and found a few things there and was really happy with what I did find. Uh, but uh, I do have some other stuff coming next week. I bought um, a few more Stevie Ray Vaughan albums that should be arriving hopefully this week. 
uh, and I have a couple pre-orders that I'll be picking up on Friday at my local record shop looking forward to that hopefully getting some record uh, shopping in as well for some other things so should have a little more fun cool stuff to show next week but that's all for this week I hope you enjoyed it thank you so much for watching if you did enjoy it please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below love interacting with the vinyl community and if you're new hit that subscribe button we'd love to have you around for the ride we do this every Monday but thank you all for watching and until next time Keep spinning bottle, friends.